immigration was a hot topic in the 2016 presidential election, with the term sanctuary city showing up in speeches, discussions, and policy platforms. We will end the sanctuary cities. Hundreds of cities have similar sanctuary policies. Sanctuary cities. Are sanctuaries. Sanctuary cities. Sanctuary cities. Everybody has turned a blind eye to it. It is about time something gets done. The costs are gargantuan. But what is a sanctuary city? It generally means a city that refuses to cooperate with the federal government on a request to hold people in jail, undocumented immigrants in jail, without a, without a warrant or without probable cause. As I learned more about sanctuary cities, I found out that my own city, Northampton, Massachusetts, is one. But it's hard to tell exactly how many sanctuary cities there are in the United States. The term sanctuary city has no specific universal legal definition. How much the policies enforced can also vary across the U.S. Yeah, the term sanctuary city gets, gets used a lot, um, sometimes in a positive way sometimes in a negative way or as a pejorative or uh, um, as a political weapon. What it means primarily to me as the mayor of Northampton is uh, the policies that we have adopted partially through uh, resolutions by the City Council but in also by an executive order that I issued in 2012 that really talks about the way that we uh, as, a, as a local municipality uh, will deal with people who are uh, immigrants and who potentially uh, may be undocumented. There's, a, there's an issue with our federal immigration enforcement uh, whereby um, administrative detainers can be issued. It's basically um, somebody from uh, the um, ICE, which is the federal enforcement, um, uh, contacting uh, a municipality, contacting a, um, a county jail, and basically saying, we want you to hold this person. Uh, we, we want you to detain this person. In his first 100 days, President-elect Trump has pledged to cancel all federal funding to these sanctuary cities. As Northampton Mayor David Narkowitz described, this could have significant effects on the city of Northampton. We, well, we receive about a little over three million dollars a year in federal funding. The key is is that most of the federal funding that we receive is very much targeted towards uh, mostly poor, low-income, disabled um, uh, people. It's it's everything from you know helping to fund free and reduced school lunches. It's the funding that we get that allows us to provide support to various social service agencies in the city. Despite these potentially devastating effects on communities, some are still choosing to preserve the policies of sanctuary cities. Pretty much said consistently that it's not my intention to roll back the policy. It's actually not the duty of a local municipality to enforce federal laws. We actually don't have the authority to enforce federal laws. We're, we're not really supposed to do that, nor do we really have the resources to do it. I think it. I've personally seen a lot of acts of violence, and especially since the election, um, people have sort of come out of the shadows in, on the other side, like saying really hateful things, like even on the streets downtown, um, to like anyone who looks like, like an immigrant, any person of color people from different identities. There's just been a peak in violence and hate and animosity. I think that um, having places be declared sanctuaries are the first step to building communities that are actively working towards working across difference and like deconstructing that hate and like building relationships with people. At the end of the day we should still choose being a sanctuary city and being sanctuary institutions no matter what even if there's the threat of cutting funding. However, some have concerns that sanctuary city policies hinder law enforcement and may make it easier for crimes perpetrated by immigrants to slide by. I spoke to Northampton Police Chief Jody Casper, who said that sanctuary city policies can actually help establish trust and respect between the police and immigrant communities. We hear concerns um, from people who feel like, why aren't you enforcing the law? Like, how can Northampton not enforce the law? I always have to explain to them that, you know, if somebody commits a crime, we're gonna arrest them. You know, if they do something violent, um, we're gonna arrest them. Whether or not they're an immigrant or, you know, third generation Northampton, they're gonna be arrested. It really came about out of, um, out of just trying to make sure that we maintain trust with our immigrant communities. It's often been referred to as the Trust Act or a trust community. 
So President-elect Trump is cutting federal funding for sanctuary cities the most effective way to reform our immigration system? How will you work to maintain trust between immigrant communities and police? And if you do cut federal funding for sanctuary cities, how will you ensure that our schools and social programs are funded? In the next presidential administration, I hope that the federal, state, and local governments will work collaboratively to reform and improve the immigration system, ensuring improvements in the quality of life for all.